Welcome to the 60s. Scooby Doo. These are the now very hard to find Mystery Ink A Regular Choice. And they are, of course, Scooby Doo. And they're meant to represent the Mystery Machine and the whole entire gang within it. How cool is that? Uh, both shoes are exactly the same, but we'll take a look at both. Very much a flower power 60s vibe going on. We've got like a green velvet fabric here. A uh, glossy blue behind with the embroidered orange and the orange flowers on this purpley velvet platform and heel, very very chunky heel. And on the front we have the mystery machine with the whole gang, which is pretty cool. They were released on the 30th of September 2022 as part of the Regular Choice Scooby-Doo collection. They have the Scooby-Doo box, which has the Mystery Machine and the whole gang and Haunted House on the front. The whole gang ran away from the ghost on one side and the scary clown on the other side. I don't like the clown. The ghost is okay. Ghost, yes. Clown, no. And then on the front we have Scooby hiding from that clown and I'm not surprised. And lots of bats. And the paper matches that front image. It is a very Halloween green paper with Scooby and the bats on it. I love this paper. I don't know what I'm going to make from it yet, but I've got to make something definitely love this paper and finally the souls so we have scooby on both in purple with the bats again not a fan of those bats shoes have an rip of 179 pound and they were not exclusive so they were available from independent stockists but good luck trying to find them um if you are trying to find them um, you can set up notifications to get notified of your stock returns on both the regular choice website and some of the stockists and a lot is out if you definitely can. So it's worth checking where you can sign up for notifications because people will have bought multiple sizes or they won't fit. They have a heel height of 10.7 centimetres and 3 centimetres of that is the platform. So without the platform it's closer to a banjo. Um, if you don't take the platform it'll feel like a banjo but it's a a centimetre bigger than the nick of time if that makes sense height wise but it will feel more like a banjo because you've got this big platform right here and this is a new shoe design i think we've only seen this twice now um on these shoes a recent shoe whose name escapes me and the one with the balloon so these are the same base shoe same heel same base shoe so i think we can probably expect more of these um which is a little bit of an issue because i've done a quick try on and they're very wide we'll walk testing them once we finish having a proper look at them but um i think there's going to be issues for me my feet are weird though so maybe there won't be issues for everyone else but uh, generally i love this color combo i think it screams scooby-doo for sure and it screams 60s um it's like kind of like revival 60s like i think stacy from rockamilly said it was like when the 60s came back in the 90s and i think she's right it does feel like modern like when they redid scooby-doo it feels like 90s scooby-doo trying to do 60s um and there is a matching bag the bag it's called Mystery on Our Hands and it matches the shoes. So we've got the front and the back. I love how they've made these match like this.
the shoes do light up as well there is an on and off button they're not chargeable because it's just led flashy lights and these are never chargeable with regular choice shoes but they do have an on and off button you can press it here it does take a little bit of there you go you can see them so they do have the lights there which is the headlights and i think that's such a cool idea to have the two lights here and here and the on and off button is if you find the seam it's on this side of the seam right near the edge that's the on and off button just in case there's no sticker on for you so on you get lots of flashes off you get one flash same on this shoe the on and off button is here that's on that's off so when you've got the lights on on the shoes and the bag that's gonna look pretty cool i think yeah a cute combo so we shall do the warp test get it over with and have a look um <laughs> I love them but um they fit lengthways i can't size down lengthways um but the issue is that only the two bits of my feet are actually touching the shoe uh, if i can get my foot up i can show you this bit of my heel and this bit here touches the bottom of the shoe this bit of my foot entirely touches nothing in the shoe even with an insole it doesn't make any difference it's just something to do with the drop of the shoe versus my insole i've got very high insteps that's the word and none of my instep is touching the inside of the shoe and i've had this problem before with the um the heels the open toe heels from like 2014 2015 where i had the same issue as well where none of this bit of my foot touched the bottom of the shoe um it's a little it's hard to show um i'll try and film it actually in the shoe um i think it's a combination of the shoes being wide and my instep being high and i just can't wear them i'm afraid and it's a shame because i love them and they're so pretty um hopefully this isn't an issue that a lot of people are going to have i think other people are going to have issues with the width as well and you might have to put like something in the heel um because it's it is very wide um don't seem to have the same issue for some reason it's not as bad on these shoes but on these shoes um my whole outer foot down here isn't touching the heel isn't touching the bottom of the shoe isn't touching the bottom if that makes sense so my foot does not it touches here and it touches here but it doesn't touch any of the bottom of the shoe all along this bit um so i would say they are true to size but they're very very wide so if you've got narrow feet or narrow heels you might have an issue um 
it might be up to the point where you might need to size down in them just to get a bit narrow of a heel unless you can do something to keep your foot in them and I am kind of tempted to try and work around it and see if I can get them to um, work for me but my rule is if I can't walk in them if they don't fit properly I don't pay full price and so many people want these shoes and these are size 40 by the way and they're most likely going back I think so many people want these shoes that it seems wrong to deprive others of them when they're just not right for me which is sad Yeah, I think they just don't fit me. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, I do have hold on gang, so it's not the end of the world. And these are one of my favorite shoes ever. So I think these, it's a no, sadly, which sucks a bit, but it's good news for somebody else who needs a size 40. These will be back on the Irregular Choice website at some point. They were available, <laughs> I say were, they're gone, um, in a 36 to in a size 36 to 43 so they weren't part of the extended size range it was just the normal generic sizes you made it to the end thank you if you'd like more shoes more reviews more news what else can we get to rhyme then you can subscribe to this channel or you can go to the website, Instagram or Facebook. All the information is in the description of this video. Thank you very much. Bye.